Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh This video is an introductory video to the topic of clause that will highlight the clause in general Let's start from definition Clause is a group of words that includes a subject and a verb So these two elements are obligatory in a clause while the rest can be optional but the existence of subject and verb is a must. Clause is divided into dependent and independent clause. An independent clause can express a complete thought and can stand alone as a sentence. So this kind of clause have a complete thought and at the same time it can also form a sentence. There might be a sentence that consists of only this clause. And then the dependent one is a dependent clause. is usually part of a sentence and cannot stand alone as a sentence. This is part of bigger sentence. So in a sentence that might be more than one clauses, one of them will be the independent one meaning that it can stand alone even though there is no dependent clause in it but this kind of clause should be attached to the dependent one and cannot stand alone as a sentence these two clauses will be clearly understood by looking at its respective examples let's check independent clause this is the example of independent clause i love you and then city is my sister and then your egg yesterday is a mistake and then i don't know the place this is the examples of independent clause when you have this uh, formation of clauses meaning that at the same time they are sentences you can put period after this clause I love you okay this is complete this sentence consists of I subject love verb and you and then the second sentence city is my sister it is also complete thought city is subject is is a verb and then my sister is complement and then the next sentence your act yesterday is a mistake your act is subject and then yesterday is adverb which is put after subject so the position of adverb is actually mobile it can be at the end in the beginning or in the middle of a sentence your ex subject yesterday is adverbial is verb mistake complement and then the last i don't know the place i a subject don't know is verb and the place is object so these four sentences have complete thought and you don't need other element to make it as sentence because they are sentences at the same time and here are the examples of dependent clause okay this is actually the development of previous examples in independent clause in the previous example we have i love you and then here the word you is developed into other clauses then it becomes i love the way you look at me so here there are two clauses in this sentence the first one is i love and then the second one this is the clauses in orange are dependent clauses the way you look at me is another clause which is dependent meaning that it cannot stand alone it should be together with other clauses to make it complete so we cannot say the way you look at me it doesn't make sense as a sentence let's move to the second example the girl who won the medal is my sister previously the example is city is my sister if you have this as 
the girl is my sister, it already makes sense. But perhaps you want to explain more about that girl. Then you put a clause to explain this. Becomes this sentence, the girl who won the medal, then who won the medal is a clause to explain the girl. And of course, we cannot make this as a sentence, who won the medal, full stop. It is not acceptable. It should be together with other or another independent clause. And then, what you did yesterday is a mistake. The initial sentence is, your egg is a mistake. Your egg here is developed or explained more into specific action. Then we put a specific action of what you did yesterday. Then it becomes a dependent clause of the sentence. So we cannot say or we cannot write it alone, what you did yesterday, full stop. It is once again incorrect, but should be together with other independent clauses. Next is, I don't know where he was going. This is from the sentence, I don't know the place. And then the place is explained more into where he was going. And where he was going is a clause, or a dependent clause to, to explain the place. So all sentences in this example consist of two clauses for each. One clause is independent clause and one other is dependent one. And this is from this explanation of dependent clause. We will talk more about noun clause, adjective clause, and adverbial clause. So these three clauses are categories of dependent clause that will be discussed further in the next video. Assalamualaikum